Uh, my name is Tom Bunker, and today I'm going to talk about uh, cells that get old and basically uh, lose their normal function, uh, and some compounds called senolytics that kill those cells, and the implications on fighting a viral infection, uh, some experimental evidence from that. So first of all, uh, Fisodin is a uh, plant flavonoid compound uh, that's found in many vegetables, plants, and fruits, extracted from the natural pigment or, or color of cucumbers, onions, apples, strawberries, and persimmons, it's especially high levels in strawberries. It's chemically, it, the structure is very similar to quercetin. Uh, and the, the paper that I, uh, the reference, uh, the research that I highlight below, uh, they were comparing various flavonoids because multiple flavonoids have senolytic activity, but they, they, they screened 10 of them and they found that at this five micromolar concentration that fisodin was the most potent at killing these old uh, senolytic cells. And basically to generate the senolytic cells, they, they, they treated them with high levels of oxygen. So they put them under a lot of oxidative stress and that was the way they uh, experimentally obtained these senescent cells. Uh, and then uh, they, they, they took mice. Uh, mice normally live a little bit over a hundred weeks and they gave mice that you know had already were already at 75 weeks you know three quarter almost three quarters of the way through their lifespan and they gave them uh, fisodin in their diet and they found that it extended the lifespan of these old mice by about 20 percent uh, and you know there, there's there's other things that do that other plant flavonoids and, and other compounds that do that but uh, you know it's just an amazing result uh, and they, the author said that it restores, you know, uh, tissue homeostasis or balance, reduced age-related pathology, you know, and extended median and maximum lifespan. And now we're going to jump over to a study out of the University of Minnesota and the Mayo Clinic, uh, Dr. Kirkland et al., and it's, it's just a fascinating result uh, that was published in Science in 2021. And in their, they, they developed a model where they took uh, pathogen-free mice and exposed them to uh, a variety of pathogens, but the main one turned out, turned out to be this murine hepatitis virus, which is actually a, a beta coronavirus uh, you know, related to SARS-CoV-2. They, they have a different receptor specificity, but, uh, you know, as far as the number of genes they have and the structure, you know, like they're, they're uh, you know, they're family members. And they, they found that when they uh, exposed young mice to this pathogen, that they were able to respond and survive. But when they took old mice and exposed them to this pathogen, uh, it, it, it killed most of them. And the female mice, it killed all of them. And so in the left panel here, you can see that the control exposed it on day zero and by day 13, all the female mice had died. Uh, and then they were curious to see, you know, if the with their idea was that the senescent or zombie cells might be uh, contributing to the pathology. So they, they, they pulsed them with 20 milligrams per kilogram of fisodin on days three and four, and the viral exposure was on day zero. And look at this, it extended their survival, uh, survival uh, time quite significantly. And then on the right panel, they did another pulse. So they, they, they pulsed the fisodin on days three and four, and then again on days 10 and 11. And they have had an even bigger increase in the survivability of the, of the mice. So clearly 
the fisidin was helping the mice fight this viral infection. And the authors proposed this model were basically uh, saying that these senescent cells are, you know, they 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 produce they're pro-inflammatory, they produce cytokines, and it kind of messes up the specific antiviral immune response. So you get rid of the senescent cells and you get a much better uh, targeted antiviral immune response. So of course, you know, this if this is true in people fighting acute COVID-19, this is big. And actually Kirkland et al. have a uh, have this in clinical trials using Fisidin to treat uh, acute COVID-19 patients, you know, early on. They, the, the idea is to keep them out of the hospital uh, and, you know, it, it might take a year or two before we find out the results. It, it, you know, so is the fisidin doing something else or is it, is it really the killing of the senescent cells that's key? So to try to confirm that they, they tried a second regimen using this cancer drug desitinib and quercetin and they got the exact same results. So that supported further their hypothesis. And does this have a tie into autophagy? Possibly. And then when they treated them with, with fisidin uh, and triggered inflammation with this lipopolysaccharide treatment, they found that the fisidin treatment reduced the production of inflammatory cytokines. And also they had several markers uh, consistent with autophagy. So it's, it's very possible that autophagy is one of the key ways that uh, inflammation is downregulated. You know, it's always a stretch going from mice to men. Uh, and as you know, I believe that I can sense when cellular autophagy is happening by my increased long COVID symptoms afterwards. And I experimented with Fisodin uh, rather than take uh, 1,500 milligrams of fisidin. I I found this biofisidin, which is you know like perhaps it's more absorbable. It's maybe 20 or 25 times you know more bioactive than just the straight fisidin. And I found that I could take uh, three capsules of the Life Extensions biofisidin and feel very significant autophagy, or just one and a half capsules of their Senolytic activator product, which has uh, three other low doses of three three other autophagy inducers, uh, and I actually really like that a lot. One and a half capsules of the senolytic activator, um, or I could take 300 milligrams of the of the straight fisidin and, and feel some ato significant autophagy. So th those are the three fisidin options if you want to do a little self-experimentation as a long hauler and try clearing out, potentially clearing out some of your senescent or zombie cells.